Good morning everyone, and welcome to Tech Interceptor. Previously, we found out together the ESROC Z790MITX Wi-Fi, but if you don't already seen, run to do it here on top right. However, our various Intel partner manufacturers such as ESROC, MSI and the Gigabyte has launched its new Z790 motherboard design for new Intel 13 core generation desktop CPU. Today, in this new episode of First Contact, we'll be looking at a new Z790 mobile, this time singled by ASUS. This is the ASUS Prime Z790M Plus D4. But, first of all, remember to subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming videos, and if you want to take a look at our Twitter and Instagram profiles, Come on, let's start. In the package, we find, of course, the motherboard, two SATA 6GB to second keyboard, one IU shield, two screw package for M2 socket, and the user manual. The ASUS motherboard has a micro ATX form factor, and it size 24.4 cm for 24.4 cm. The ASUS Z790 has an industrial design. At the base of mobile, we see the black PCB where stand out white concentric circles, the name of motherboard, and the ASUS logo printing on it. Here rises some silver elements, among us two massive fully covered MOSFET silver metal brushed each sink with thermal pad at the left and up to the socket, and one another small square that acts as a dissipation chipset, both have a some diagonal cut on it, and the plus, the largest is enriched with additional thick black diagonal lines. To notice the presence of a dedicated each sink for M2 slots. The prime board presented a VRM layout feature 10 plus 1 power faces that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. As all new Z790 board, also this feature the new LGA1700 socket and support whatever Intel Core CPU both the 12th generation and the new 14th generation series desktop CPU. For now, the new Intel Core Raptor Lake S series, including 6 SKUs, free with integrated GPU that are the i9-14900K, i7-14700K and the i5-14600K and the free without integrated GPU recognizable by the code KEF, the i9-14900KF, i7-14700KF and the i5-14600KF. For those don't know, make a little specification recap. The flagship feature 24 core of which 8 performance core and the 16 efficient core, 32 thread, 5.4 GHz of boost clock, 3 GHz of base clock, 36 MB of cache and 125 watts of TDP. The Intel Core i7-14700K has a 16 core of which 8 performance core and 8 efficient core, 24 thread, 5.3 GHz of boost clock, 3.4 GHz of base clock, 40 MB of cache and 125 watts of TDP. And finally, the Intel Core i5-14600 600K. This latter has a 14 core of which 6 performance core and 8 efficient core, 20 thread, 5.1 GHz of boost clock, 3.5 GHz of base clock, 24 MB of cache and 125 watts of TDP. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM dual channel memory architecture socket. These can install from 32GB single DIMM memory module up to a maximum capacity of 128GB for all DIMM with an operating base frequency from 2100 MHz up to 3200 MHz and up to 5343 MHz in overclocking. Continuing to the motherboard layout internal connection, starting from the left on top, we have got a 4 plus 8 pin ATX 12 volt power connector for our CPU, CPU fan adder, CPU fan optional adder, and a 1 pump fan adder, and a 2 addressable LED Gen 2 adder. After going down on the right, there are 24 pin ATX main power socket connector, a chassis fan connector. 
a USB 3.2 Gen 1 and a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C front panel header and two SATA ports. In the bottom, the Mobo have a 1SPI TPM header, system panel header, and our two SATA port Thunderbolt header, two USB port, a clear CMOS header, addressable Gen 2 header, Aura RGB, a chassis fan header, COM port header, SPDIF out port and the front panel audio header. Moreover, on the last side take place a one COM debug header and a one chassis fan header. The storage option of a new Z790 motherboard are composed by four SATA free 6GB to second connector, one M2 slot that support storage devices type 2242, 2260 and 2280 at a PCI Express 4.0 at a 4.4 mode that is 64GB to second, one M2 slot that support storage devices type Type 2260 and 2280 at the PCI Express 4.0 operating at a 4.4 mode that is 64 GB to second and one last M2 slot that supports storage devices type 2242, 2260 and 2280 at the PCI Express 4.0 running at the 4.4 mode and at the SATA mode as expansion slot the ASUS Prime Z790 motherboard feature one PCI Express 5.0 for 16 slot with safe slot core plus protection one PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slot running at the 4.4 mode that is 64 GB to second and the two PCI Express 4.0 for one slot. The audio compartment mount the Realtek 7.1 surrounding sound eye definition audio codec, which feature jack detection, multi streaming, front panel, jack retasking, audio shielding, premium audio capacitor, dedicated audio PCB layer, and support up to 24 bit at 192 kHz playback. On back, the audio panel feature firstly two USB 2.0 header, a HDMI port, a display port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 header, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 for two Type C port, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port, and a one gigabyte Ethernet port, and the audio jacks including rear speaker out, front speaker out and center subwoofer input. But now it is time to talk about the price. The motherboard is available on retailers at a price of about 280 US dollar or 270 euros at the time of making this video. As always, I leave you the link to buy it in the description below. Well, that's all for today. I hope you are enjoying and helpful today's videos. As always, let me know what do you think in the comments below. Then leave a like, share it with your, all your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Huge thanks for watching. See you again next time.